Okay, so it's 1020. We get the EIA inventory numbers at 1030, of course. Uh, so we got crude trading 5558. So API number last night. There's your last night action. We were trading at about 5650 coming into that number. Yeah. It showed an increase of 7.9, I think, million barrels. Yeah. Um, so with that in mind, of course, oil trading lower. We're down about a buck from that level, 55.58. Jumping around to some of the spread contracts, if we're looking for a volatility trade, the ones that expire at 11 a.m., just pulled them up. So we'd have $56 we could use, or you could use 55.25, all right? We're and still 56.50. 55.58. 55.50, okay. So um, we're about 30 cents, uh, 35 cents, give or take, away from that. I'm just going to jump around to see if, you know, ideally, Closest one's going to be 55.50, right? That might line up if, yes. if oil may have been in that context. The noon op, the noons are going to have the same exact price spread, okay? And the 230s are going to have even a bigger because the dailies they open up uh, 56 would be our option. So let's just line it up for the 11s. Um, and 55.25. Okay. Now what's going to happen here is that you're really going to have a pretty dramatic bullish bias because this is going to demonstrate it right here. You're getting yes. in at 5556. The bullish leg of this trade is going to be $41, representing 41 cents that you're paying above the floor. Yeah. Um, and let's just demonstrate how cheap the bearish one, if you do just still want exposure to the bearish side. This one going from 5525 down and you're getting in at about eight. Right, so yeah. in theory, it's a bullish spread with almost exposure on the downside if you happen to get a dramatic move right. in that direction as well. Um, and you could always take both sides of the trade. I bring it up occasionally. Maybe you're just bullish yep. and you want to find risk. Not a bad opportunity. Market's trading at 55.60. You're paying five pennies to get in at 55.65 and you're risking four to make 10. You know, you're getting two to one, yeah. two and a half to one on your money. For 30 minutes, right. Yeah, for 30 minutes, and perfect. Let's see how, so we'll leave those up even, and we'll jump to the new ones, because we do like going the new ones. And let's just pull up that bullish one, 55, 25. Here's your noon. Look at that, so it's such a small, Ooh, yeah. small, so. Now the market's moving. We we're trading now 55, 54. So you are paying about 12, 11, 12, 13 pennies, yeah. give or take. But again. still. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're almost getting three to one. You're getting 2.75 to one. No, if you were um, bullish, that's a good trade. It is. That's, it is. That's. Um, I would agree. You talk about defined risk. That's I pretty, would agree. That's pretty intense, actually. Yeah. So we'll see where that number shakes out. 10.23, API big surprise last night with the build. Let me pull this and, baby um, up. So, crude right now is down one and a half percent. Yeah. And. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. You got, you know, the, you can see that last high was last Thursday. I got to what 57.88. Um, tried to test that yesterday with 530,000 contracts versus 684. So, I mean, it looks like this thing wants to try to trade down to 5508. You know, that's the last time. It's a, it's a consolidation. You know, it's, I mean, we're in so many consolidations, folks, in this market. It's like, you know, wild. It, it, you can take these different structures, and in this particular case, you're going to see that, you know, November 13th is the time frame there. Yeah. I mean, that, that bar is vicious, man. That's a, well, I got to, let's look at that. I forgot that this happened. We, you know what, probably, we were probably not in this contract, but on November 13th, folks, that was a four dollar and fifty cent move in the yeah. oil market. Yeah. Sixty dollars and eleven cents to fifty five fifty eight. That is one monster move, man. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so crude plus seven million barrels. That's build. a big number. So even Bloomberg users looking for a build of about one point three. That had been the estimate. API did show a number even above seven last night. That's a big build. How far do you think it's going to drop? Ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. It pops. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be frustrating if you're That's you are the market. Short. I know, man. Um, I you know. get a 7 million barrel build yeah. and crude pops uh, 25, 30 cents on the first uh, pop. Mm -hmm. And we'll see. You know, you'd have till 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. That's the beauty of defined risk if you are wrong in one of those. Yep. Um, the bullish trade would have been a nice trade when you're, you, you're only paying. You know, whether it was 11, 12 pennies, oh, right, yeah. over market, so you'd be profitable still with your risk capped at that uh, 55, 25.
price limit. Right. And let's just jump back even one more time. So there's your number. Okay. Crude, 7 million barrel build. Median Look estimate. Look at that. Yeah, was 1.4. We saw Bloomberg survey was even about 1.3. Uh, gasoline, quite a miss to the downside, a draw of 4.2 versus an estimate decline of 1.6. That's impressive, particularly because, you know, when you're talking about the United States, a lot of people have bad weather, snow, you've yes. been driving less. Well, that's showing yeah. that we're still using a lot of gasoline. Yeah. Um, so quite a number, man, in terms of uh, across the board headline number on crude and just to see if it's holding it. It's holding it. We're at that high. So 55.82. That'll be interesting to see what that holds. Oh, I after, know. Uh, I know. You don't often see such a quick spike in the opposite direction. No. You might see a move in the opposite direction when it plays out, when they right. dig a little deeper into those numbers right. because there's a lot contained in there. Um, but usually this dictates the first reaction in the first 15, yep. 30 seconds. And that does not make sense, but hey, there's yeah. a lot going on in that market. And I think a lot of people might have been saying API was a big number last it night. Was. You know what? That was the estimate number, so but that, that has changed. The only thing, the thing that gave me pause on that was um, that the Bloomberg user survey came in so close to it because that's something that they allow um, input on up to, I believe, about 10 minutes before the report. Right. So somehow the market was looking for it, but not the traders because, yeah. man, oh, man. Uh, oh, and we're back to 55.72. Okay, we'll yeah. check back in. And we'll we'll, see, we'll you know, see what. Go ahead. You know, in yeah. the S the S&P, as as we're doing that, the S&P is oh, saying boy, that. Oh boy, I wasn't guess, even paying attention. What? There we uh, go. And the bottom line is that this oil number, you know, is not looking to hold. So we'll see. You know, you you broke down underneath that uh, 27.80 um, with 27.77, and you know, bottom line is there's not much here to, to stop it. You know, the battle now, battle line now will be that, uh, you know, like 2772 to 2767. Yeah, five I, to ten points below where we're at. And, yeah. um, and, and when you pull this up, it's it's ticking fast, like one to two to points, oh. which is a big, that's, that's, it's trying to find its supply and demand. Let's check back oil. I'm curious. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're back to almost yeah. where we were at 5565. I think they're waking up to that that is a big number. That's um, a big number. And we'll see. I can't believe it went that fast. That was a quick hour. Lots going on. Great. We're having a good time. Stay right there, folks. Uh, fast market coming up next. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, Thanks man. Wow. We'll get them, folks.